Hardcore Wrestling, the home of Hardcore Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, seven days ago was the historic Super Card 9 event, and we had witnessed the new Tornado Tag Team Champions, and they are back here on No Mercy Hardcore Wrestling brand, but it's not Lethal Enforcers. I repeat, it is not the Lethal Enforcers, for it is the Upstarts, Joe Namath and Alberto Sanchez. And the tag team partner from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 256 pounds, Michael! It was the upstarts Joe Namath and Alberto Sanchez who had beat Team Japan's Yoshihiro Tajiri and the Black Ninja and also defeated Larry Laren and Titanium. And fans, Super Guard 9 is now available on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. Sponsored by Amp Energy Drink. Oh! month long folks super car 9 is there for your viewing pleasure it was a hell of a night for those two youngsters Alberto Sanchez and Joe Namath after they have only been wrestling here for less than a year here in this business since last September in the new class season two, they were competing, and they were absolutely no names. They had nothing under their uh, under their belt, nothing except for two trainers. And after one year has gone by, almost one year in one night, defeating two top tag teams in the contingency. Well, I'm just amazed, ladies and gentlemen, how he, how both of these men manage to pull through and successfully defeat. Those Tornado Tag Team titles. And the tag team partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 205 pounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen in the audience are on their feet for the new Tornado Tag Team Champions, showing Alberto Sanchez, the upstarts. Keep in mind, folks, this is a non-title match situation. I repeat, this is a non-title match. The bell sounds and look at this, the upstarts with weapons in their hands. Oh my goodness! Look at this, already miscommunication from the newly crowned tag team champions. Look at Mick Doom using the fire extinguisher. Holy cow! 20 seconds and already this man has been chaotic. Look at this. Strangling Joe Namath. Good grief. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I had stated weeks ago, Lethal Enforcers Nick Doom and Pentons were one day short of reaching their rematch clause. Because the clause states that after three months of active championship co competition and also retaining that championship, you are eligible to receive a number one, a, a rematch after losing the titles. They were one day short of reaching that that goal, they're reaching that clause. So Lethal Enforcers are dying to get those belts. And look where they are right now. Both McDoom and Pantalis are in the ring with the tag team champions. I know, I know in my heart that McDoom and Pantalis want to win this thing. They want to show to me, they want to show to the committee. German suplex with the bridge almost got a three. They want to show the championship committee, the board directors, the suits of FPW that they earn, they deserve a match, they deserve a rematch for those belts. And what a perfect fit. The fact is, look at a German suit on the referee. Sky Stanley, watch out. Holy macaroni with cheese. Oh, man above. Hells, bells, and buckets of blood. This past week,
week on Tuesday Night Bomb, the New Rhapsody tried their very, very best to make an impression by trying to defeat Winger and Jason Niaga, a very unusual tag team. And yet, New Rhapsody lost that match. And that was deemed the, the, that main event of that night, Tuesday Night Bomb. An impromptu main event that was the show to show us can New Rhapsody show an impression, make the impression, try to attempt to make a statement that they want their belts back. Seriously, that's what we wanted to see. Unfortunately, Titanium and Larry Laren did not meet those expectations. Did not meet the requirements to qualify for a, maybe a potential rematch at some point. Also, opportunities lost. Jesse Lee Baudouin, even though he's earned his three wins, he earns a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship because of his actions in that No Mercy title match against Shawn Michaels at Supercard. Winger just moments ago stated that he will not be challenging the K for the world title, and we don't know when that will be. It's not going to be tonight. Though we will see Jesse Lee Baudouin and Decay, both those men will compete in action in a non-title situation. We can't decide. We cannot. Dis we can't decide this very moment. When will Decay challenge? And uh, so when will Decay defend the title against Jesse Lee Baudouin? Oh my goodness! Pulling up the tights, perfectly legal. A bent pile driver on McDoom, the drunken mini. And both members, both legendary legal enforcer members, are getting their asses kicked by the new champs. Look at this! A Triforce. Now where on earth has he learned that? Hmm? Snapping suplex. Boy, legal enforcers are not doing very, very well at this very moment. And ladies and gentlemen, still going this action. We have Shawn Michaels and Muhammad Hassan, who doesn't even wrestle here. Both retirees will be in action here in this hardcore wrestling show each and every week. And that's some kind of ultimatum, some kind of bribe, if you will. Very unusual for Jesse Lee Baudouin, who used to own half of this organization. Trying to trick Winger, trying to make him seem like, hey, he earns a spot, he earns a right of that damn title. Oh man, only a one count. And you know something, Jesse? Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, man, you deserve the world title. You deserve a match for the world title, but I'm gonna have to agree with Winger, you don't deserve a title match tonight. It's very, it's very unfortunate, but you just don't deserve it for what you have done, bringing in Muhammad Hassan, who is frowned upon in these parts. And you know that, Jesse. You know that. Try to make impact all you want. 